friends today we are going to read the story me and my amazing body written by Joan Sweeney and illustrated by Annette Cable this is me and my amazing body these are the parts of my body that i can see but most of my body i can't see because my skin covers almost every inch of it Skin comes in many different colors. It holds my body together and lets me feel things like my kitty's soft fur or the prickly spikes of my cactus. Ouch! Beneath my skin are my bones, all 206 of them. When my bones are put together, they are called a skeleton. The skeleton holds up my skin just like the poles hold up a tent. Bones are hard and help protect the softer insides of my body. Attached to my bones are my muscles. My body has more than 600. They stretch and shrink like rubber bands. Muscles do the hard work of moving my body all around back and forth and up and down. I even use my muscles to smile. My muscles move because my brain tells them to. My brain is the boss of the body and it lets me think my own special thoughts. It's so important that it has its own safe place in my head. Inside a very hard bone called the skull. My brain sends and receives messages from all parts of the body. My body and my brain need lots of energy to work well. They get energy from my blood. Blood contains oxygen from the air and nourishment from the food that I eat. My blood travels all over my body through special tubes called veins and arteries. If I cut or scrape my skin and it bleeds, don't worry. My blood is always making more blood. My blood can't move through my body all by itself. It needs my heart, a group of strong muscles in my chest, to move it. My heart is like my own little engine. It pumps blood through my body all the time, even when I'm sleeping. If I put my hand on my chest, I can feel my heart beating. I can also feel my lungs working when I breathe deep. My lungs fill with fresh air like balloons and send the part of the air I need, the oxygen, into my blood. Then my lung push the air back out. A moment later, I breathe in fresh air all over again. My body needs food along with air or else I wouldn't grow. When I get hungry, I eat and food goes down into my stomach. After I eat, my stomach mashes the food into very tiny pieces. Then my body takes what it needs for energy and growth and gets rid of whatever it doesn't need. All parts of my body work together to keep it going and keep me growing. And someday I'll be all grown up. Isn't that amazing? And most amazing of all, Every person in the world has a body that's very much the same. But every person is also very different. There's no one in the world exactly like you and no one in the world exactly like me or ever will be. And that is the end of the story. Please like, share and subscribe.